Good morning and happy Friday. I am going to share a journal I made for a friend of mine. She has a friend who's having a birthday and she asked me to make something for her. It did take me a little bit longer and I'm going to let you know why. I have six mini journals. Each one of these sections I punched holes in them and my goal was to do a cross stitch all the way down so it would look really nice and pretty and then I was going to use this faux leather material that I got from Timu to wrap around. I just couldn't make it work. One of my favorite channels is Candy Crafter and by chance I noticed that she used ring binders. I thought, oh, that's great. I used to use those in the past, but I couldn't find a ring binder that was big enough for this. So this is chipboard. I frequently reference my cereal boxes, but this chipboard came from the back of a scrapbook paper. And it's so nice and it's bendable and you can score it. So what I did was I scored it here and then I bound it together with this double thread so that way when you open up each journal it will lay flat. I definitely wanted to include this faux leather so I just glued it on the top. It's just really pretty. I have a whole stack of them so you're going to probably be seeing this faux leather in different colors in future journals. I also added some keys. I like to add keys and I didn't name this one because she may want to put her friend's name on it if she wants to actually keep this one. But I still want to share with you because I think it's very creative. I added a lot to it and I hope that you enjoy it. Before. So before I go further with showing you each mini journal, I am going to tape these keys down. <laughs> when I did my first video, every time I turned a page, these hit this backing and it made some noise. So I'm just going to temporarily put this here so that way that won't distract. For the tie, I used some of my leather and I just cut strips of the leather and I made it nice and long. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and open up this journal. This front cover, I normally don't add anything in the front and back cover, but I had this gap right here and I didn't want to cut a new piece of scrapbook paper. So I just added this fringe. This fringe comes from the material and I just like the way it looks. It's just so creative. And then I just layered it with another piece of, I think that's burlap paper. So it gives it a very creative look. So this first mini journal is made from material. I got some of my scrapbook paper and it had some nice bling on it. And then I just hand sewed it around. And then I added this key right here. On this side is canvas. I have a little bit left of this soft metal and I thought it would be just so cute on this page. I bought a journal and it had pretty quotes and it had some graphics in it. So it was a writing journal. And what I did was I split each section into five pages, so writing pages. So that way not only can you add photos, but you can definitely use this as a journal. And each of these sections has a quote, and then the back has this really pretty graphic design. So this particular quote says, there is no chance, no destiny, no fate can circumvent or hinder or control the firm resolve of a determined mind. This is by Ella Wheeler Wilcox. Very pretty. And then on each page I embellished them. So we all have this extra scrapbook paper laying around. So I definitely use that in this book throughout and it just makes it so creative. That's why we call it a junk journal. You'll also see here I use some sentiments that I got from Timu. I really like these. I've been using them throughout my journals. They just give you so many different quotes and you can either choose um, black on white or here in the back, white on black. I just like them. So you're gonna see a variety of these sentiments throughout this book. For this one here, it says shine like the whole universe is yours. And then here's a tab. The tabs that I add to my journals, they're not anything significant. I just like the way that looks. On this page, I added two flips and I like this bubble bee paper. And on the other side, I used some of my vellum paper. Right here, it says stronger than yesterday. And this little flip, it says trust your crazy ideas. And then here again, it's just layering. And that's just one of my flowers that you just rub on. I did the same thing on this side. I want to share with you just the different layering look. It doesn't have to say anything, just be creative. And that's what I did with this journal, so I hope she likes it. This sentiment, it says, a dream is a wish your heart makes. This is just a simple layout. I added a, f a picture frame and there's that vellum paper and then I did a little um, flower that you can just rub off and then this is from one of my die cuts and I used some embossing powder. And then I used some more embossing powder here and it says thinking of you and then right here's a heart. 
it might be hard to see because I have white on white, but I hope you can see that. And then I use some burlap here, and I have these embroidery pins. I just bought a whole bunch of them. I have a lot of different types of bling, so I added that little flower right there. And then as you turn this page, I used another cutout and then just embossed it as well with some powder. And then here's the back page of this, and it's just a simple layout. And this says, live, create, tell the story. This next group is from my scrapbook paper. I want to highlight these two dragonflies. Frequently I mention junk mail. I collect all kinds of stuff. So for these two um, die cuts, I used my box from my perfume. Sometimes you can just see these really neat graphic pieces on it. So when you cut it, you get a result of this. So it's just so pretty. That's what a junk journal is. You use what you can find just to add and embellish. So just wanted to share that with you. Here's some burlap. This says live gently upon the earth. And that's just a brad. And I put these triangles frequently. I just like the way that looks. You know, it gives you an idea to put a photo there. Okay, so let's open up this side. This is the only page that I added a little tuck. I just did a layering of all my extra scrapbook paper and then I added a little tag in there. So what I did was just get all my scrapbook paper that I had left over and just make a little collage. So, so cute to add photos. This negative from one of my dragonflies, I just put the ribbon behind it and it just gave it a really cool look. So I'm gonna tuck that in. This pretty quote says, when I let go of what I am, I become what I might be. And that's from John Miter. I love this pretty butterfly. And there's one of those tabs that I like to add throughout. So this layout is pretty simple. You have some picture frames. And this quote says, this is what family looks like. So it's just something fun. On this page, I just added this little flip. Definitely a place to journal your memories. And then you can add a photo here. For this two-page layout, I just added one of my die cuts, and this saying says, not all who wander are lost. Plenty of room to journal the memories. So I really like that. Over on this side, this is some other fray from the material that I used. I don't like to throw away anything. So you can see I put the fray here, and I just added some scrapbook paper on top. And on this side, it says, attitude is everything, and just a piece of scrapbook paper. And then here's some more fray from a different group of material. We are fearless, independent, and original. And let's turn this page. This is pretty simple. I just added some die cuts that I had with some hearts. So I just put a heart there, there, and there. And then this is the last page. I have a lot of flowers that you just rub on. And I just like the way that looks because it's nice and smooth. And then this is just the last page. Start doing things you love. Just a simple layout. For this mini journal, I used some of my velvet material and then I used it for corners on the front and the back. That's what I like to do is just use what I have laying around my scrapbook swag and then just make something really creative. I did a little layering look here. It says always be on the lookout for a presence of wonder. And then I just layered some material here and then added brads. And then this really pretty die cut, I used my embossing powder just to make it shiny. On the inside of this page, another die cut, and I use this really pretty, and it has like a glitter embossing powder. I like the way that looked. And then when you open it up, I didn't do anything on this side because I like that distressed look. And then here's a place to add a photo. This quote says, there is more inside you than you dare think. And this is from Daniel Bauer. And another very pretty butterfly. And then pretty graphics here. This is a die cut and it says friend and I use that really pretty glitter embossing powder. And then this is one of my flowers that you just rub off on the page. I just like those because they're nice and smooth. There's just some extra scrapbook paper. So why throw it away? Look at what you can do and make it very creative. Place to journal right here. And then another die cut says amazing. Down here's a quote. I found this quote and I liked it. It says, don't be a lady, be a legend. I used my glitter glue to frame it. And then here's another flower. These hearts right here are left over from my Valentine's Day journal. So I added them there. And it says, replace fear of the unknown with curiosity. And then here's the back. Here's the last page of this group. Use some more scrapbook paper here and I just made it a fold. There's one of my die cuts and I just layered it with some other scrapbook paper. And right here it says hold tight and pretend it's a plan. 
And the back is just some canvas with just some extra scrapbook swag that I had laying around. Group. On this scrapbook paper, I wanted to add all this faux pearl I had. So I didn't do each little area. I just did some sections. So you can see some white faux pearl and some green. I just like the way that looks. And then on this side, I just used some of my extra scrapbook paper. And this sentiment says, collect beautiful moments. As far as this quote, it says, discover your possibilities. And it's by Robert H. Schuller, another beautiful butterfly. And I used one of my fluorescent pens to put a frame. And then I added this really cute sentiment. It says, collect beautiful moments. Okay. So for this page here, this is junk mail. Let me explain. This is a paper from Junk Mills. So it's the first time I've done this. So I just cut it out and then I added some ribbon around it. And then I thought how nice to just make it like a little folder. And then whatever you put here, you can see as you pull it out. Something different. I think I like that. I might be including that more in some of my journals. And then below this, it says, today is full of possibilities. I don't know, tell me what you think. If you and these two pages, just some extra scrap of paper, and then there's one of my die cuts of another cup of coffee with the steam coming up. And I'm sure I got that from Timu. <laughs> I get a lot from them. Here's one of those dragonflies again, and that, that came from the box from my perfume. I added two quotes here. It says, let life surprise you, and today is a good day. These two pages have a little bit more embellishment. This is another one of my die cuts. I just love it. I've had it for a long time. I haven't used it, so I decided to add to this book. And then when you open it up, a piece of scrapbook paper. It says, Beautiful Chaos. And I just added one of those hearts from my Valentine's Day journal leftovers. And then this is the last page of this mini journal. It's just some extra scrapbook paper you have laying around. It says, Happiness Depends on Ourselves. And then just a simple layout on this side. Here's another mini journal and I used my material. I added some lace around the circle and I added two buttons. And you can see I also sewed around the edge. And then here's some little corners. So I guess that's why I don't throw things away because you can create something really pretty. So on this inside cover, just some scrapbook paper and some lace. And then this pretty quote says, all you need is deep within yourself waiting to unfold and reveal itself. And that's by Eileen Caddy. And a little tab here. Pretty graphics here. This is the negative of one of my die cuts. So I cut as close as I could to the edge and then I also embossed it. So sentiment on this page says, keep some room in your heart for the unimaginable. Here's another die cut, but I didn't use embossing powder. And this says, stay simple. Okay, let's turn the page. This is just a layering look. I added some leather, some scrapbook paper, and I cut it like a tab. And then here's another embossing pen with a little key. Let's see if I can move that close. And then this sentiment says, throw kindness around like confetti. You may be able to tell that this is just leftover material from my Valentine's Day journal. So I just layered them there and it says, fall in love with as many things as possible. And then here's another coffee dye. And it says, go where your heart takes you. And I did use embossing powder on that. I just like the way that looks. And this is the last page. I believe this scrapbook paper is the same paper that I did this first page. And this sentiment says, start each day with a grateful heart. On the back page, I added these burlap corners just to give an indication if you want to put a flower there. This is the last mini journal. As you can see, it is scrapbook paper. I added this spike die cut and I embossed it with gold, just like the way that looks. And then here in the corner, I added another embroidery pen and I put some faux pearl in there. And I added some more faux pearl here on the line. Right here, it's just simple, just a place to put a picture and it says, today is a new day. And this lovely quote says, I was always looking inside myself for strength and confidence, but it comes from within. It is there all the time. I think that's so pretty, especially for this journal. So I do hope my friend likes it. And then here's the graphics. For this group, I use my stamps. I have so many stamps, so I decided to include it in this journal. And I did color them in. Sentiment says, the impossible is often the untried. For this stamp, I used two different colors. I just wanted to give it that different look. Right here, it says, be authentic. I just love this stamp. It's one of my favorite and I just colored it in. On this side, the sentiment says, you can do anything but not everything. I think we can all attest to that. 
And then I love this sofa stamp. And it says, remember the now. I just think that's so cute. And then in the last two pages, this is a beautiful butterfly stamp and I colored it in. And this sentiment says, it's the little things that make life big. And then here's another die cut. Here's just a layering look with a little flip up. And there's some ribbon there. And one of those hearts that I had left over from my Valentine's Day journal. And that is it. So thank you so much for sticking with me all the way through. Let's go ahead and take this off. I greatly appreciate all my subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber, I would greatly appreciate if you would subscribe. And as always, I appreciate any comments. But thank you again, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.